Hi and welcome. In this video, I aim to show you how you can manage invoices in Notion. And this can be particularly useful if you are a freelancer or a small business and you want to have a very light invoicing system where you can also see your invoices by client, by month, quarter or year. So let's dive right in. And here you can see there is an invoices database and there is also a financials dashboard. And these components are just two components of a broader system that I've been developing, which is the freelancer home base. But right now I want to share with you what keeping track of invoices in Notion might look like. In the invoices database, here you can add any invoice that you provide to your clients and link it back to a project or to a client. In this example, whenever there is a new invoice, you can add the date as the primary data in this database. Then there is a date property with a date picker, um, which is the date on which you created that invoice. And here you can also choose to relate the invoice to a specific project that you've been working on. And this is a relation to the project's database right there. And the client, hence, is a rollup. And it's rolled up based on the project relation that you define right here. Next up, you can define the amount of money for the invoice. And if it's paid, or once it is paid by the client, then you can check this box right here. If you have any notes, you can write those notes in this text field dedicated to that. And finally, if you have a PDF file or an invoice Word doc that you create externally, you can attach that right here so that the invoice that you send to the client can be quickly retrieved from this entry in the broader invoices database. And this is just for data tracking and for financial purposes, because then here you can see the sum of total invoices that you issue by period of time, as well as by client or by product. When you open that specific database and let's say you open the Apple client, you will see all the invoices for that client, the sum of money for all the invoices and all the status of those invoices as well. Those that are paid and those that are not paid yet. An additional feature is to view invoices by time period. And that can be useful to do some analysis and to make sure that financially your business, whatever its nature, is consistently doing good to thrive in the market. And here, for example, we have a table by month. And this table by month groups invoices based on the month they were sent to the client. And so this takes the date property and groups that property by month. So that you can see every month how much money is coming in and what's the status of all your invoices and projects and clients right here. And you can also see a view of a table that shows only the invoices that were created this month or in the current quarter or more broadly this year and last year as well if you want to do a quick comparison between last year and this year and that's the idea of the invoices database to create manage store invoices data it's very simple quick but just to make sure that you have a place where you can have all your invoices and run some basic financial calculations to make sure you are on track with your business to thrive and manage your invoices in one place effectively in Notion. Thank you for watching for now and I wish you a good day.